Hey, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Hope you're humping. It is late, yo. 6.45 p.m. I was here for a 9 a.m. meeting, and I didn't get much sleep, and I've spent all day not having much sleep. You tell right now. And only staggering amounts of caffeine have kept me awake, but they've also kept me incredibly jittery. And if that weren't enough... Hmm. One minute. This is Enrique Salem. 24 hours ago, he was our CEO. We came in this morning to find that not only had our earnings call been shifted from uh, after the markets closed to before the markets opened, but there was also an announcement that effective immediately our CEO was out and our chairman was assuming the title CEO. Very exciting. Got the markets excited. We ended up close to 15 after being down in the 13s for a couple weeks. Will it stick? Mm, I don't know. Our stock price has just been too depressing to watch lately. But any day you go up 14% is a day you should go, hmm, how about that? But it's caused a lot of jitteriness and unease. And that's not just caffeine talking. So in 24 hours, we'll either all be greatly relieved or we will have an entirely new level of jitteriness and unease. Not knowing is the hardest part. Well, maybe we'll know tomorrow. A couple of all-hands meetings and announcements and whatnot. And we'll see what happens there. So, that was exciting. If I get a picture of our new CEO, Steve Bennett, I'm sure he'll go right there. But I'm not sure I'll be seeing him on the cover of any magazines anytime soon. It's 86 degrees and hot and muggy and humid and awful. And it looks like it's going to rain, but it's not raining. So it's just kind of soup again. Kind of like it was last night. It's so hard to go out and do anything. But because I needed to go to the store, the grocery store, and I kind of ended up meandering around in, in, in St. Paul. So while I was in St. Paul, I went to the Walmart because I was out of noodles. And guess what I found? Crazy flavors, dude. Craziness. I had to buy 24 of these bad boys because I had to get three of eight different flavors. And they weren't even flavors I normally get. Now they had shrimp, which is one that I normally get. And beef. This is show and tell, by the way. Hot and spicy flavor with shrimp. So it's not really a shrimp. It's hot and spicy, but it happens to have shrimp on it. As opposed to one I had not seen before, hot and spicy beef. It's not hot and spicy with beef, it's hot and spicy beef. I had it today. I couldn't tell it from any of the other hot and spicy ones. But there's also hot and spicy chicken. This thermometer means it's hot. And not just because you put boiling water in it, but it's spicy hot. So they say. They also had, my God, can you believe it? Cheddar cheese. That's not right. I haven't had cheddar cheese in years. And I'll probably hate it. But with the experience, you have to have it. And also an old standby lime chili flavor with shrimp. And then one I hadn't heard of, but which must be subtly different, lime flavor with shrimp. Limon. Limon Chile Habanero. So I have shrimp. I have hot and spicy with shrimp. I have lime with shrimp. And lime chili with shrimp. And even the shrimp is with shrimp. So I guess there's no such thing as a shrimp flavor. They're all other flavors. And they've got the little tiny sea monkeys in them representing shrimp. What's weird is, I don't have any space for this now. Hey. Perfect. Walmart was out of chicken. It's like the most popular ramen flavor in the world. 
Well, the most popular almond flavor in Minnesota. But they were out. They were also out of roasted chicken. So no chicken, no roasted chicken. They were almost out of beef and shrimp, for that matter. They were like big empty spaces. And then they had a lot of crushed Maruchan, which doesn't work so well because the water tends to leak out while you're cooking it. So that was the experience of going to the St. Paul Walmart instead. Again, 28 cents each. That's got to be a month's worth of lunch right there. 24, yeah, five days a week. So that's at least four weeks and four days. And I probably won't have one every day. Although I have so many, maybe I will have one every day. Maybe I won't skip a day. Maybe I'll take a vacation. I need one. I'm almost tempted to go to my regular Walmart, which is over in... You know, I don't know the name of the city that it's in. Is it Minneapolis? Is it St. Anthony Park? Can I look it up really quickly? Do, do, do. Where they only seem to have one or two flavors at any given time. I get some chicken and some roast chicken. And then I would have ten flavors of Marochan. I never even knew there were ten flavors because I tend to only buy it at Walmart. Because let's face it, 28 cents? 59 cents? 59 cents is how much it cost at the grocery store. So is it Minneapolis? Is it Columbia Heights? No. Well, maybe it is Columbia Heights. Officially, it's in Minneapolis. Extreme Northeast Minneapolis. Huh, isn't that interesting? I'll tell you a little bit about the geography here because you don't care. The county line that separates the county that Minneapolis is in, Hennepin County, and the county that St. Paul is in, Ramsey County, you wouldn't know it unless it was marked. And even sometimes then, you don't see it very well. Because it's just like, very arbitrary. Middle of the road, looks exactly the same on either side. Especially on university close to my home, where the only way you can tell that it's the county line is the fact that because it's also a badged county highway, it has to change numbers from the Ramsey County Highway number to the Hennepin County Highway number. But KSTP, right on top of it, I think the studio actually straddles the two counties for some reason. Got their Doppler radar. But you, there's no way of no, there's no official city limit kind of deal. And it, no separation. So what's the point, really? Why are there two separate cities? I don't know. Because they are. But it's the same way going to Walmart. You're going down County Road C, and then all of a sudden it's uh, 37th Street or whatever it is. Tell me, Google Maps, what is County Road C after you cross the county line and it's no longer County Road C? I can't tell you. Zoom in. Enhance. Not happening. Oh, well. Uh, county Road J. No, I said C. That's the other thing about Ramsey County that's kind of cool, though. They have County Roads A through J. Some of them aren't there anymore, but it is 37th. Wow. How do I remember that? A little creepy. Uh, yeah, County Roads A through J. Anyway. Oh, I have a minute left. Which is just as well, because I only think I have one comment from the W to address from... Come on, baby. Scroll, scroll, scroll. From Doug. Have you happened to catch Steve Austin hosting Redneck Island on CMT? He's tossing beers all over the Mexican beaches. It's funny because uh, you are the second person I know to have actually admitted to watching Redneck Island. I, I threw out a rhetorical tweet. Well, it wasn't rhetorical. They just kind of end up rhetorical because nobody answers them. Does anyone actually watch Redneck Island is what I asked. And Craig and Modesto said that he did watch it. And why didn't I watch it? And now you're saying, have I happened to catch it? And I guess because I never watched CMT, I'll never accidentally watch it. But I could try. If Austin's being Austin, it's probably pretty entertaining. If you've watched Redneck Island, we anxiously await your review of it. Uh as well as any other feedback you may care to have at the usual locations. CRZ is me. 
We'll be back tomorrow when hopefully I will still have a job. This job. We'll see.